Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here. Today I have the Simon Says Stamp collaboration with the Kitchen Sink Stamps Gingerbread Hugs. We're going to be using these multi-layer stamps, doing a very fun card. We're also going to be using the Trinity Stamps embellishments, Distress Oxide in Fired Brick, and some Altenew New Crisp Inks in Crimson. And then you're going to need two pieces of cardstock, red and white, and of course your card base and some white embossing powder. We're going to begin by doing some ink blending of that fired red. So all this is going to do is just going to give it a little more of a base to really splatter our water and give it more dimension. It's just going to darken up the cardstock just a little bit on one of the sides and honestly it just gives it that much more especially when you're creating a very simple card such as this. We're going to splatter some water on that and let the distress oxide do what it's best at and react with the water. You're going to see these beautiful water splatters on it and it's going to be super super fun. Once that is done we're going to move on to a piece of white cardstock. We're going to stamp the um, little peppermint from the kitchen sink stamps stamp set and we're going to create some borders with it. So we're going to stamp the top and the bottoms with this little peppermint just shifting it to the right and to the left just to angle them a little bit different and then we're stamping it with that crimson so all this is going to do is create a border It'd be super cute to go all around but honestly i'm going to keep it pretty clean and pretty simple by just stamping the tops and the bottoms now we're ready to assemble our card so we're going to place some of the heat embossing powder onto christmas wishes which we're going to cover up with that embossing ink and then we're going to grab our simon white embossing powder and cover the whole thing. I really like this embossing powder because it's really good for little details. You're going to shake off any excess. Be sure that your entire uh, flickers is completely dry before you go on to adding any embossing powder. So once that's embossed and heat set, we're going to place some foam adhesive on the back. And then on a separate piece of cardstock, I had stamped additional peppermints. And these peppermints are the larger ones from the set. And I'm going to layer the larger and then some of the smaller ones, which I have stamped with a lighter ink. And honestly, I think you don't need really to layer these beautiful peppermints. They're absolutely gorgeous. And the way they stamp do look 3D. So I'm going to stamp those. I'm going to place those down with foam. And then for embellishments, I have the Trinity stamps peppermint embellishments. I'm going to add a link down at the bottom of the video for this and then using the Tombow mono adhesive glue we're going to grab it with our crystal katana which is a little sequin pickup tool and we're going to start adding those. So on the side of the Christmas wishes we're going to add the white little sparkles uh, sprinkles They kind of look like candy so be careful don't eat them they are silicone or rubber and it's just going to give it a whole different look to this card. Boy, that does it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I appreciate you sticking along. Please sure to click on that picture of me to subscribe for more videos. Have an amazing day.